The coronavirus impacting almost every aspect of life, including the opioid epidemic. This year has been very hard on those who are struggling with addiction. And today we are expecting to get an update from the city, but we know that the data is not good. So Renata DiGregorio is live this morning with more on this and how local groups are stepping up to try and help. Good morning, Katie. Well, looking at the data from JFRD, it is clear that help is needed. They are averaging 15 calls for overdoses a day. I drew out this visual to give you an idea of just how many calls that is, what it looks like. This is 40% more calls than this same time last year. It just keeps going. And I spoke with a man at a recovery center who is seeing more relapses. A lot of relapses. We're seeing a lot of um, people in early sobriety having a much harder time. We're seeing some people with long term sobriety relapsing. In response, the group Drug Free Duval is doing free virtual training and delivering Narcan nasal spray, which can reverse the effects of an overdose while you wait for paramedics. Inside this kit, two Narcan doses. It's great to be, uh, be prepared, um, have the knowledge and um, to be able to make a difference in somebody's life. JFRD administered Narcan more than 500 times just last month. That's more than 16 times a day. Chris Blavelt is almost nine years into his recovery and now works at the Augustine Recovery Center. He's seeing people relapse and urges others to get into more Zoom recovery meetings. One or two 12-step recovery meetings a week, maybe you should do more. The success of our sobriety depends on it, depends on that connection. The Jacksonville City Council Committee that focuses on fighting the opioid epidemic meets today virtually. That's at 2 o'clock. They are expected to talk about a lot of these numbers. Live downtown, Renata DiRigorio, First Coast News on your side.